Does that person's jersey say caca? <laughs> Okay, I am done with work. It's 5.30 and, uh, and I need to go home. It's 4.30 and I'm getting out of here, so about, what, an hour, or maybe 30 minutes earlier than I usually do. Uh, I found my groove, I think. Um, I'm feeling good about this week. It only took two days into it, well, the weekend too, um, for me to find my groove and, you know, get stuff done, be confident about what I'm doing, so. Um, I think Mondays and Tuesdays are going to be really rough for me because I'm still trying to learn about what we're doing every every week because we do something different every week, obviously. Um, but other than that, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it's like three days of the week where I know what I'm doing and I'm not staying here so late. All I got to do is just prep my stuff beforehand. Um, yeah, I don't really know why I stay here so late. I don't, I don't think I get distracted or anything. It might just take me a while to do things. Um, but I'm just not sure. Anyway, uh, tomorrow we have an assembly. Uh, I volunteered to get uh, pied in the face um, by the students. Uh, I think it's gonna be really fun. Uh, I'm definitely gonna get pied in the face, I think, because I pretty much have had nearly half the kids. I've had like, let's see, how many kids have I had? So this school year, let's just say I had 20, 40, 60, 60 kids. 61 kids. 60, 60. I've had on 180 students this year so far. Um, and we're not even a month into the school. 180 different kids out of what, 600 kids who go to the school? That's a ton. I'm probably going to get pied in the face. Um, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to pick up my pants that were just done getting hemmed. Uh, hopefully they look good. I'm going to try them on. Uh, and. Yeah, tomorrow will be fun. I'm actually lending out my GoPro tomorrow for the assembly because um, we're trying to innovate our social media campaign for the district and the school specifically. So we're trying to make it really cool. Um, and I'm gonna have the GoPro of me getting pied, I guess. And then we'll put that on the school Instagram page or something like that. We're also thinking about doing a day in the life. I think I'm gonna be the guinea pig for that. I'm gonna do the first day in the life for uh, teachers. Um, yeah, a lot going on, a lot to do, but it's very fun and very rewarding. I love my job. One last thing I forgot to add, today I went to our school library and we actually have VR goggles. They're like a class set. And I tried them on today and I don't know, it was so exciting because uh, um, that's where learning is going. And I was just blown away by VR. I don't know if you guys have ever tried VR, but if you haven't, I suggest that you go try it. Um, there was one where uh, I went to a museum and looked at uh, French Revolution paintings like the tennis court or oath. Um, I also went to Mount Everest in space. It's just so mind-blowing. Uh, you feel like, I don't know, you're, it tricks your brain. So like it's really weird. Um, yeah, I just, I can't get enough of VR. I love it. It's great technology. The kids love it. They're so lucky that they have this kind of technology to learn because it's just really fun. It makes learning great. Um, except <laughs> we're going to use it for uh, for uh, the Holocaust unit, so I think we're going to go to Auschwitz. I need to set up the assignment and everything and how to do it. Um, not really the best place to go, but if you want to drive a message how horrible the ho Holocaust was, I guess that's where you're going to go in VR. So sad, but it gets the point across. Dog pooping. <laughs> Uh, anyway, it's Wednesday. Uh, we had a half day today, but the staff actually had to stay um, until 3 because we were required by uh, our contract uh, because that's when we do staff development, our PD sessions. Anyway, um, today was a half day, like I just said, uh, for the students though. Uh, what we did was we did safety drills. So uh, we did a fire drill, first period, and then we went straight to eighth period, which was a lockdown drill, which is actually really sad that kids have to do that now. I don't remember doing lockdown drills when I was in junior high or elementary school. I know in high school I did. Um, anyway, after the lockdown drill was the tornado drill, ninth period. I don't have a ninth 
period class, so I kind of just helped facilitate. Um, and what I found out was there's no room for all those classes going to the, our shelter in place. So we need to figure out a different plan. It's kind of good that we figured this out earlier in the year so that um, we can be much safer later on um, if there is any tornado that comes to this area. Hopefully not, though. What else happened today? Oh, yeah. So after ninth period, we had our assembly, and I uh, and 15 other teachers, I believe, volunteered to be pied in the face, or the chance of getting pied in the face. Um, it was pretty fun. I didn't get pied in the face directly, but there is definitely a chant to get me going, to get me pied in the face. Uh, <laughs> but the people who were chosen to do it didn't pick me, luckily enough. Uh, it was shaving cream. I think we stayed away from, um, uh, what was that called? From, what do you call that? The top, the thing you put on, whipped cream, whipped cream. We stayed away from whipped cream because people have had bad experiences with it. They've had sinus infections because it's cream, it's dairy, right? And that would be staying your nose. That would stay in your nose. Um, also, just the smell of it would linger for a while, and it wouldn't go away for like a week or so. So, good thing we did shaving cream. Um, the reason why I say that uh, I got pied indirectly is because <laughs> the person who set it up, one of my good friends at the school, she uh, she got a, a lot of pie in her face, and she started hugging everyone who wasn't pied which was me <laughs> so I was the lucky uh, recipient of some shaving cream in my face and my hair the back of my head and everything like that um, yeah it was a pretty fun day uh, the assembly we also recorded it on my GoPro and I'm gonna edit the video for the school Instagram page and just put it on our social because we are trying to um, innovate our social media campaign I think I said this yesterday I'm not really sure but it was a fun day. I had fun. And we're halfway through the week. Also, look at the sky right now. I don't think the camera's gonna do it justice, but that looks really, really cool. It's like a golden yellow. I mean, I guess yellow is already gold. They're gold. I don't know. I'm wearing gold right now. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm done. See ya. It's Friday, uh, it is nearly five o'clock. Um, I'm gonna leave pretty early today. I know, 4.45, it's kinda early for me, I guess. Um, this week was pretty good. It was my first full week of taking over for the class. It was a really long week, uh, but we got through it and we just gotta survive the next one. That's kinda the motto, uh, because I haven't been really been able to catch up. I've been trying to just uh, stay afloat <laughs> with all my stuff. Um, but anyway, let's see what we're doing next week. Just be yourself. RAF, paratechnology, RAF. They can go to the library next week. Uh, yeah, it's been a good week. Next week is our first full week of the school year. Like I said in a previous video, the first eight weeks of school, we only have one full week, and that is next week. So hopefully the kids will be able to get in the rhythm and a rhyme. Um, of getting in this uh, the school mode because they're still not there yet. <laughs> anyway, it's the weekend. I'm going to take a break and relax. It's Saturday. We have a lot to do today on our checklist. Um, one of them is get a haircut. So let's go ahead and do that. Got our haircut. It looks kind of janky right now uh, because I have morning hair, but when I put product on it, I think it'll look nicer. Um, kind of wish I got more of this kind of cut off, but... Whatever, I'll be back in like three weeks, so uh, I'll be fine. <laughs> okay, um, what else do I have to do today? I have a uh, lunch with some friends in like 45 minutes and I need to take a shower and get over there, so I'm already running late. I'll see you later.